pistol whipped at Cornerstone Nashville and I told them this was coming. So, gosh, a few months ago, I had a discussion with a board member, Mike Wharton, at Cornerstone Nashville. And uh, Mike didn't seem very concerned that there was uh, not a, a uh, priority put on security at the church. And during that discussion, I told him, I said, hey, Mike, evil doesn't need a reason in this world today. Like, things happen. And... Uh, after being met with quite a bit of resistance at the middle of the conversation, I decided I'm not going to have a conversation about this with a dum-dum. So what happened this week is exactly what we were concerned about happening at Cornerstone. I will agree that there was some protection of God on the people that were there. Uh, so make it this. Bob, you can help me if I screw up the story to some degree. But apparently there was a car thief pulling the parking lot was going to dump a car, looking for another car got out, was greeted by one of the ushers, and uh, was subsequently pistol whipped by the usher, which caused a commotion. The guy stole the golf cart, went over to try to get another car, ran into another car in the parking lot. Then the, the one of the other pastors came out, who uh, fortunately has some skills, he's ex-military, um, was able to uh, tackle and subdue the guy in the parking lot because, uh, again, he has some skill sets. And, and, and I'll, I'm bringing this to light because I've been assaulted in Nashville with a knife at Opry Mills Mall. Uh, a group of friends that we know had got shot at in downtown Nashville about three weeks ago. Uh, Bobby, who's standing here, his wife was almost carjacked. If she hadn't had, had her wherewithal and her wits about her, she would have probably gotten carjacked. This type of stuff is happening on a regular basis in Nashville, Tennessee. What I want to warn you of is this. It's not going to stop. And there's kind of an old joke that goes something like, when times are bad, liquor and gun sales are good. Uh, you know, quite honestly, financial pressure, financial stress, those things getting on top of people brings out the bad in people. It brings out who they are. Um, to other people who are philanthropic and kind and con you know conscious about other people's needs, it brings out the good. But what I want to... What I want to caution you of in this day and age is things are really, really sketchy out there. Be prepared. Be prepared with self-defense. Um, make sure that you are situationally aware of what's going on. And quite honestly, the usher, I wasn't there to see exactly what happened. But keep your distance when people look like they are uh, having malintent or they look like they're a criminal certainly go get another person to help you. You're likely to get pistol whipped and not knocked to the ground. It's, I mean, it's, it's a great thing that that's all that happened to him. He wasn't killed. But this stuff happens on a regular basis, and the news in Nashville is keeping this very quiet. And I believe the reason they're keeping this quiet is because they're trying to draw people into Nashville. And they want to keep jobs high. They want to keep prices on real estate high. They want to keep rent high. They want don't want really people to really know the reality of what's going on around them in Nashville, Tennessee. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't be foolish like Mike Wharton and think that, hey, uh, we really don't need to be concerned about security at all. You do need to be concerned about security. Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. Be in prayer. And by all means, always carry. Hey, like and subscribe.